Good morning everybody, it's Paul here from New Adventures and here I am in Leicester for the very first day of our massive national talent search for exceptional young dancers aged 16 to 19 to be part of a brand new Matthew Bourne production. We're going to 14 venues across the UK so there's a little bit of apprehension. We don't really know what to expect but we can't wait to meet the young people we've invited to this audition. And by the end of the day, hopefully, we will have found our young dancers to be part of this show. So Matthew Bourne's new project was bound to cause a bit of a stir and a thousand teenagers turned up to audition for a role. So we said that you're going to reveal the new production. Yes. Tell us all about it, please. Well, the new production is Romeo and Juliet, um, but not as we know it, of I course. guess. Uh, people wouldn't expect me to do something that was very straightforward, you I guess. A, you had open auditions. Is that, yes. how, how did that work? And who, who came in through your door? Well, it's a very unusual process we're doing with this production. We're, it's all about celebrating and developing young talent. It's a fully professional production with my company, or with my usual uh, creative team. The cast we made up of the younger members of my company, professionals, but also along the way, we pick up young people in each city that we go to who come into the production. The whole kind of essence and theme of this project is young people. So uh, Ariel's only 21, so she's not that far off some of you. Uh, and she's the next big exciting choreographic talent, I think, in this country. <laughs> she gets really embarrassed when I say this. We're going to have a young designer, a young lighting designer, a young conductor, a young orchestrator. Yeah, so there's youth, and that's really exciting. We're gonna, it's going to be fresh and new and original. So since you last saw us in Birmingham, we finished our auditions uh, and we had a big casting meeting so we all got together with the creative team and looked at all the different um, young people that we'd met. So it was a kind of deciding how many we were going to have yeah. in overall for the project. Mm -hmm. uh, we settled on six, uh, so we're doing six people in each venue and then we have been embarking on our first set of intensives over the summer holidays. Because we haven't got material for the show yet, um, what we're doing is getting to know them as dancers and for them to get to know the work and the company. So we do class with them, um, so technique class, and it's really intense, intense intensives. And this is really what these intensives are for, is to develop them, because um, they're all at such different stages. Some are in training, some are just about to go into training and some are leaving training. But everyone can grab onto this opportunity because we're developing them and we are mentoring them. I mean, my room's a little small, uh, but <laughs> sure we can all squeeze. <laughs> this is like, like my photo wall thing. I know it's a bit, a bit soft and all, but this is actually my um, audition number from the Bourne audition. This <laughs> is a little, no, it's a bit, a bit strange, but it was from when I worked at KFC. I needed to. <laughs> um, it was just to get you know money for more dance lessons, more touring, and, and paying for that. Paid minimum wage to cook chicken, but it was all right. I loved it. Um, and I think like just don't didn't want to forget about it and stuff. I um, originally started dancing. I was six. I saw a, a demonstration, like a show, for for ballroom and Latin, and I, I absolutely loved it. Like fell in love, kind of. And it was only like recently, when I was a teenager, like three, four years ago, that I moved into contemporary and started exploring that. When I go on tour, like most of the other dancers in the company, they tour, then they go home and they sleep. I tour and then I go and do my, my Latin and make sure that's all up to scratch still. I live with my sister and a boyfriend, there's just the three of us. We all used to live here, but then one by one like, everyone's gone off. Like my um, mum, my she moved out with my brother 
a um, few months ago. She's gone to live with her partner in Shrewsbury. The plan was for me to go there with them, like, and us all move and like leave this for my sister and her boyfriends that I've put. Because of dancing, it just wasn't possible for me to like go and move away. I had to stay here so I could still get the bus places and still get the train to all my lessons. And it just feels like wasted time getting the bus everywhere and the train everywhere. And so you might finish practicing at half nine and you feel great, and then you've got another hour to get home before you can get to bed and to be up at nine in the morning to get to school for 10 and, and whatnot. It's all just, just non-stop, really. <laughs> Workload is, is difficult for everyone. Everyone's got lots of work and it's just prioritising and, and organising from that point of view. But for me personally, I feel like my autism is an issue sometimes. It's like I build up mental blocks and I feel uncomfortable and then I don't engage properly in the classes. Paul and Ariel have been great. If they can see that any one of us was struggling with something, they're like, take a breather, take a step out, reset, refocus and I, I've been really grateful for that because like, my biggest fear going into it is that we'll be on it and someone will be watching and will be like, oh, well, that's the young cast and they're the professionals and I, I, I don't want that. I don't want to say I'm just an add-on. I want to be part of it. I want to be in it and I want them to see that that was like a brilliant collaboration and everything and, and that's my goal, what I'm trying to get out of it. <laughs>